Hi, and welcome to a new episode of The Young and the Restless. We see Tucker's in his room, standing over a suitcase ready to pack and leave. And then he picks up the phone and he calls Victor and tells Victor that he has the contract signed. And Victor says that he will send the money once he gets the contract. Over at society, Abby and Ashley discuss Jack and Diane and her having issues with Jack and Jack telling her to move out of the house. However, Abby thinks that Jack is right. She should move out. Then we see Sally and Nick walks into her room and she is struck by the baby's picture, completely distracted from Nick. And Nick doesn't seem 100% excited. Then we see Adam enters and says that it's incredible that they are having a baby girl. Nick is pretty angry at that. We go over to the coffee house and we see Chance and Christine discuss trying to find Jeremy. And then outside of the coffee house we see Lauren mix up with Jack and Lauren is upset that Jack convinced Michael to take Diane's case. Lauren said she wanted Jack to get someone else she didn't want Michael to betray Phyllis like that. Jack discussed how stressed he is and how Summer and Kyle is being affected by Phyllis's death and Diane being incarcerated. She tells Lauren that Ali moved out with it moved out and moved in with Noah. Tracy is going to New York and he and Ashley are having issues. Then Lauren cries about Mrs. missing Phyllis and then they look and see Christine and Chance inside talking. We go back to society and Ashley says that she will not let Jack take away the house from her. Abby says she only said so because she doesn't want her mother to be unhappy in a house where she isn't welcome. Then Ashley gets, the, gets a text from Tucker telling her that he is leaving. And then we see Adam and Sally are in the room laughing and giggling and excited about the baby and the baby sucking a thumb in the picture. It is clear that Nick feels left left out so Nick like tries to start a conversation but both Sally and Adam are distracted by the pics and no one is paying him any attention. Perfect. However, Nick continues to try to start a con- conversation and Adam asks him to let them enjoy the moment before Nick mentions anything about Newman family. Nick is looking pretty stupid in this moment. As Sally and Adam continue to gush over their baby, Nick gets a text from Victor to meet and Sally asks who texted him and Nick says that it can wait but Sally then tells him to go. Nick requests that Adam walk out with him but Adam says no. He's staying and Nick leaves angrily. Back at society, Abby and Victor discuss Jack and Ashley fighting. And then we see Nick arrives there. And Victor tells Nick that he purchased McCall. He tells Nick that Adam will run it. But Victor wants Nick to join Adam at McCall to straighten, to straighten the company out. Nick says Victor could not be serious. He has zero interest to in a consolation prize for Adam. Nick says that it's never gonna happen. Nick then thinks it's gonna that Victor is using this as an attack on Sally and attempts to leave. Meanwhile we see Sally and Adam continue to gush over the baby and Adam is scared about raising a girl and says that he might mess up as a father. Adam also mentions that having a girl in his life, he wouldn't be able to say no to his daughter. And Sally brings up Kristen and says that he has two boys, two, uh, two boys. so he has experience in raising a ch- in children. Adam doesn't want to screw it up with his child. Back at the coffee house, Jack tells Lauren that Diane is innocent. This affects Lauren and makes her cries and she is says that this whole situation is affecting her work then we see Ashley goes to see Tucker and he is surprised that she came and she asks where is he going 
and he names a lift of country and tells her that he sold McCall to Victor. Asha says that he's quitting. Tucker says that he is embracing his future outside of JC. And then he repays Ashley for the debt for McCall. Then Ashley calls him coward. She tells Tucker to think about Devon and Dominic before he runs. Tucker angrily says that he doesn't need to be redeemed by her. Ashley gets upset and tries to leave. Tucker says that there is no place for him here. And Ashley then tells him to move in with her. Tucker then cusses Ashley out and thinks that she's at her games again. And she begs him to stick around and fix things with Devon and Dominic before he leaves. Ashley says additionally that they also have emotionally unfinished business and she is not ready for him to go. Back at the coffee house, Lauren and Christine talk and they discuss her not being happy with Michael working on the case. And she doesn't understand how Michael could betray Phyllis. Christine says Michael is just doing his job. Then we see Jack goes over to Chance and he attacks Chance and asks him if when is he going to find Stark? He accuses Chance of not doing his job so much and he gets angry and upset and continues to attack Chance that Sharon had to tell Jack to tone it down. Then Christine comes over and tells him to step away from Chance. Back at Sally's, Sally and Adam continue to confide in each other about raising their child. Sally is then worried that the baby might inherit her wrong traits. Back at society, Victor expressed to Nick that he wants him to work with Adam together and not compete for a woman. Victor says that he is trying to help them. Nick says that it will never work. They will be, with, be at each other's throats. And he tells Victor to focus on his granddaughter that's coming and stop playing games with them. Victor is shocked after hearing that he's expecting a granddaughter and then Nick says he regrets sharing the news. It was Adam's to tell. Nick tells him to take a step back and allow them to work through the baby issue. Back at the Sally's place, Adam gives Sally a pep talk and tell her that she can do it. She can raise the daughter. She has nothing to worry about. And then Sally asks Adam, when is he going to tell Connor? She wants to tell Connor. Back at the coffee house, Sharon apologizes for Jack attacking Chance. And Chance says that he's going to walk away. He was going to walk away from the GCPD before the whole issue. But because of actions of elitists like Jack and people in the city, he will stay around to fix things. Back at Tucker's, Ashley says that they can make it work if they are under the same roof. Tucker thinks that Ashley wants to use him to stick it to Jack. Ashley says it's a grand experiment. It has nothing to do with Jack. If it doesn't work, then he can fly off to wherever he wants. Tucker says it's such a turn on. Tucker says that he needs assurance that she has real feelings for him and is not screwing him up. Ashley says she does some tears. I'm not sure if she is doing a forced tears or not. And says that she really doesn't want him to go. And she grabs, Tucker grabs him and kisses, kisses him. Then we go back to Sally's and Adam doesn't want to confuse Connor yet, especially with the situation with her, Nick and Sally. He's going to ask, why aren't you with Sally if you're having a baby? And he wants to talk to Chelsea first and figure it out how the best way to tell him. And then Sally says that she also wants to tell Kristen that they need to figure out how to do so. Sally, you're making too much demands at this point. But anyways, we go back to the coffee house and Chance gets a call. And Jack listens as he talks. And Jack asks what the phone call was about if it had anything to do with Diane. And he informs Jack that they found Jeremy's body. Thanks for watching. Bye.